came back after being gone for two months or so. I just been busy with working and catching up on some other stuff, but wasn't gonna be gone for like a year or so. I decided let's get back to it. But today I'm coming to you with a beauty buy, I guess, and my thoughts on some new products that I bought. So if you wanna stay tuned. Okay, so let's begin with my thoughts on Maybelline's Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. Okay, first of all, I'm kind of upset. I'm really upset with Maybelline because I used to wear just the regular Maybelline Fit in the color Cappuccino. And come to find out when they created these, I think it's this and the dewy one, they discontinued the color cappuccino so I had to like completely find a solution to wearing Maybelline's fit with my color tone so what I did was this color is 330 in the toffee and caramel so what I did was I mixed this with some Mary Kay CC cream that I had for a while um, and it's the Spectrum SPF 15. Um, it's in a darker shade than I am. So I kind of mixed the two together and it created my color so it worked out perfectly. So my thoughts on this, I really love this foundation um, because I really love the Maybelline Fit. So using the matte, it gives me a more, cause I don't like to look oily or anything like that. So this really cleared that up for me. And so, yeah, I really love it. I think it's a great foundation. I will continue to use it. No, I'm not a big, expensive um, beauty buyer. I stick to drugstores, and when I can buy expensive stuff, I do. So yes, um, this is what I love, and really no bad thoughts about it, except they discontinued my color. But hey, I'll settle for this. Another and another that I bought was this e.l.f. Um, eyebrow kit. It's because I ran out my Salon Perfect um, eyebrow powder, so I wanted to try a new product. And this eyebrow kit is not like a powder, like my Salon Perfect. And I just want to show you, um, show you guys what it is. It's more like a gel if you can see i've been using it for the past two days and it's more like a gel rather than a powder and i really like it it gives me a more perfected look and it comes with this little brush as you can see i need to clean it two ends so yeah but it works very good at first i was kind of iffy about it because i don't know i never really use gel on my eyebrows but as you can see I have it on now. I think it I think it went on pretty well. I'm still trying to perfect my eyebrow technique so I don't laugh at it. But yeah, that's how they came out with it. So I will I will continue to use it and give you more thoughts about this product, but for now I like it because I'm still learning, so hey, three dollars, you can't beat it. I think it's a steal on my beauty bias is some wet and wild lipsticks that I got at CVS. I think they were on sale, buy one, get one half off. And I think the regular price for them were about $1.99 or $2.99. I can't remember, it was a while ago. But these are two I added to my collection and it's more of nude shades. Um, This one is like a nude pink, it's called Faint Pink. The number is 901B. And what can I say? I love these, but comparing it to NYX products, I'd rather go with my NYX because I'm just an overall NYX fan. Y'all know that. But I mean, it gives you that matte that you want, but it comes off easily, more easily than my NYX um, matte products. So I mean, I will still use it. I don't care if the lipstick come off because I'm gonna reapply it anyway even if it don't come off because that's just me. Um, I like to perfect my lips. Y'all see that in my videos. I always do a video on some lips. So yeah. 
And the next one is called Bear It All 902C. Um, this one is a nude lippy and it's matte again. Um, I can compare this to my NYX lip cream Abu Dhabi which I know I love me some Abu Dhabi that's my favorite lip shade my favorite nude lip shade must I say but yeah what if, if it came to me picking this or Abu Dhabi y'all know I'm pick Abu Dhabi but I will still use this you know just so I won't be using all of my Abu Dhabi um but yeah I think I think it's a great steal. Wet and Wild usually creates some good products, so no bashing. It just comes off easier than NYX in comparison. So my final product um, that I bought was this NYX gloss. I'm not a fan. Hmm, how can I say this? I'm not really a fan of wearing lip glosses anymore since I got out like high school and got to the whole lipstick fade. But when it comes to creating a simple look like this without any makeup on with eyeliner and just my eyebrows um, filled in, I apply this NYX lip gloss to my lips right now. And see, it gives me like a shimmery color and it's in the color of brown topaz. Um, but I really like it. It's not so thick, but it is sticky. But it was $1.99. I want to try it out and see how it turned out on me. So it's, it's pretty okay, I guess you can say. But that is the end of my beauty buys for from, I'll say, March in the beginning of April. So if you guys like this video, just thumbs up. If you want to see more of my beauty buys that I continue to buy out through the month of April, just thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my channel. I can't stress that enough. If you watch my video, just press the subscribe button. I will love you forever and ever. And just comment below if you have any thoughts on the products that I bought. So stay tuned.